Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for being here because you are the reason that this video today is possible and a reality. I have been a full-time content creator for one year now and this channel exists for about two years now. It's been over 200 videos and I recently gained like 2 million views. I have over 20,000 subscribers now and I wanted to take a look with you at my analytics and share with you how it's been being a full-time content creator with a rather small channel um, because it's not, it's not like overnight success. It's a lot of work and it's challenging but also very rewarding. And today I want to take you a little bit behind the scenes, share my feelings and my numbers. So I started this YouTube channel being a student. I studied social work and I have a degree, a bachelor's degree in social work. But last year at that point in time, I was very, very happy to be able to not start working in social work, but take this YouTube channel as my full time job because everything was very uncertain. My son was not in school for many months and so it has been amazing being able to stay home, be flexible and um, yeah, just have a bit more of that freedom, being able to help out other parents as well. I do not recommend going full time if you are just starting to make money, if you just had one good month actually, because that was the reality last year. So let me share what my channel has been doing during the past year. So this is the back end of YouTube. Here you can see just my dashboard with the views and subscribers and everything of the past 28 days. As you can see, there are quite a few arrows pointing down. That's not a good sign, but that is just part of it. But let's see what we have um, during the past 365 days. So during this time, I gained 1.5 million views, which is about um, three quarter of all the views that I have. I gained 12,000 subscribers and I made 8,990 euros. You can see from here that it's definitely not um, a job that would make that much money at the beginning, at least not when you talk about the topics that I talk and when you do not push products too much. I do also earn money from affiliate marketing and from a sponsorship here and there. These are it's just the ad revenue that I made from the ads that you see on my videos. But you can also see that YouTube is a constant up and down. What you can see here at like the start of this last year, like in November, beginning of November last year, we are just coming down from like the best time my channel has seen. Then November and December was great, but January and February were actually miserable. And then February started to be better again. March was good. April was okay, but it's dipped down again. Then um, May was good. June was bad, July was even worse. And then um, in the beginning or like end of July, beginning of August, it started to be really, really good again. August was amazing and September was just like slowing down. So you can see that you cannot really say that my channel, that I get a lot more views than I have um, last year. It's just been a constant up and down on like the same numbers kind of. And that is, that is the reality, I think, for many channels, even though, of course, I have grown. Here we, can, here we can see the subscribers that I currently have and also the subscribers that I have gained during the past year. So a year ago, I had 10,300 um, 10, subscribers. Um, and now I have 22,400. So it's more than doubled, but as you could see before, the views have not really increased, which is normal. Again, that is just what YouTube channels do, but just to give you kind of a picture of, yeah, how, how that works, how that happens. 
Here you can see month by month how much money I made with AdSense on my YouTube channel. The October metrics are not correct because it's just like the, the last few days of October. Um, but then here in November, it was almost a thousand euros. In December, it was just a thousand euros. And then January and February, people expect those months to be low. So January and February were really low and then March was good again. And yeah, April, May as well, June, July, as I said before, you could already see that when you looked at the views were not great. And then August was better. September was even better. Um, and October is wasn't really, really wasn't good. So the sad reality is that even though I now have more than double the amount of subscriber that I had a year ago. I made 1,200 and something euros last October, while I will only make about maybe, maybe 600 euros this October, which means that even though my channel is, has grown to more than double the amount of subscribers, I have made less than half the amount of money from YouTube AdSense. And this actually is exactly what I want to talk about now. YouTube is amazing. I am very grateful to be able to make money just from creating videos and you watching them and having to watch a few seconds of ads in between. But the other side of that whole thing is that it is really unpredictable. You would think that the bigger a channel grows, the more money you make, or at least that the more subscribers you have, the more views we ha you have, which then leads generally to more money, but that doesn't necessarily happen. And now I also want to talk a bit about my feelings. I think here on YouTube, we see a lot of huge creators also sharing their finances very transparently. And I think this is amazing. I think it's great to see how content creators more and more share openly how much they make with YouTube. Most of them just share their AdSense, the numbers I shared before with you, but I also have a bunch of videos where I share my detailed income with every source of income. I will link the playlist about minimalism and money up here so you can check it out if you're interested. But now I just want to talk more so about how I've been with being a content creator for one year. And I can confidently say it has been a roller coaster when it comes to feeling safe or not so safe with this career. The good thing is that I have some savings and, I'm, and that I could get a job in social work almost at any moment. So there's no real like tragedy happening if my channel doesn't make any money anymore or if for some other reason this career or this job doesn't work out. But the other side is of course that I'm very passionate about it, that I want to make it work and that there is so much that I like about this and there is so much about this job that I wouldn't get in social work. And a year ago, my channel had just grown rapidly twice. In August, my subscriber quadrupled and in October, I had so many views, I couldn't really believe it. And I thought, well, if it's gonna progress like this, I will have maybe 100,000 subscribers by this time right now and reach 1 million views each month. Well, that has clearly not happened because since last year, my channel, like my views have not grown. I have never had a better month than last October, like of 2020. And I, my channel has grown, but not to 100 to 100,000 subscribers. And this is also why I want to share this here because I'm passionate about it. But I also want to like show you how it is, show you this picture of the people that do not just blow up and then suddenly have a million subscribers and are well off for the rest of their life. This has definitely not been like this and I do not know if this will ever happen to me. The other thing is I also upload two videos a week, which is a lot. I think most creators that are, are creating um, original videos, not just reactions or something like that, 
over a long period of time usually go down to one video a week. Of course, it's not always the case. There are also let's plays and other kinds of genres that um, make it easier to produce more videos or maybe you just have an everlasting creativity and time and you can do it just easily. But for me as a mom and trying to be creative, trying to add value with my videos, I have been struggling sometimes to come up with two good video ideas a week. The workload itself, like filming the video and editing it, was okay. I actually recently got a comment of a person saying, if I had your channel, I had endless ideas. It's not that hard figuring out ideas for a channel like yours. Well, yes, that might be true, but they have to be ideas that get views, that make your channel bigger, that won't lose you followers, because otherwise it does not work as a job. And so it's always very hard because you have to predict how well a video will be received. And for all of you who are watching almost all of my videos, thank you so, so, so much. You um, make this possible for me. And to everybody who watches a video occasionally, thank you for coming back to my channel um, again and again. Really watch the videos that you enjoy. Let me know what you would like to see more of on my channel. And I'm just thankful for everybody who does watch my videos. So I'm not trying to complain here, but I'm trying to explain to you, um, yeah, that coming up with ideas is not just about, well, I'd like to make a video about this topic. It's more so also about understanding 24,000 people trying to anticipate trying to already know if they would click on a video and if they would watch it the whole way through and then actually creating a video that is as good as you imagined and then it yeah performing and the algorithm helping you with that so it's it's a lot more so that's kind of how i've been feeling about the workload but now let's maybe talk about a few huge advantages that i love why i really want to keep this job and why i want to make it work well of course, I love that I am very flexible. I love that I am able to work from home and make my own schedule, even though that also means that I rarely have more than a weekend and that I haven't taken a week off since I started this channel. And so it is a blessing and a curse at the same time, but I love it. And I think the flexibility that comes with it is really something that I want to keep for the future. And I also want to learn to be more balanced, but that also mean that it has to work like numbers wise. It's easy to say like, I need a break, I need to step back, but if there are no views, then the job doesn't work. So I have to find a balance between uploading enough videos or better videos, which however that is possible um, to anticipate and plan for, um, and also being able to, yeah, decide that I need to break or decide that I want to not upload a video, which really isn't possible right now for me. But I hope this is something that I can do in the future if I feel like I do not have enough time or something like that. But that really comes with having this as a job and not just as a hobby. But having this as a job makes it possible to make it a priority. And that is also what I really, really love because having this as a job also means that I kind of can talk about and create the things that I am passionate about. It doesn't always work because there are things I am interested in that you don't seem to like watching that much, like knitting videos, but maybe I'm gonna create a, um, a second channel for that topic or first just for all the ideas that maybe don't fit into the niche I have on this channel here. Let me know what you think about that um, because I would really like to have a second channel to just talk to you without pressure, uploading whatever I feel like, um, and not losing followers because of that. I think I'm confident. I think I can do this. I think persistence and work pays off usually, but I'm also realistic enough to know that I'm not safe, that it could still happen that my channel gets less and less views and that the moment comes where I have to say like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work as a full-time job for me. I have to get another job. Um, I have to do something else. And the sad thing is that I've been in this phase for a year now. I really hoped that after my huge jump in August and in October of last year, um, I would see another jump and I would see something else that would um, take my channel from a certain um, stage to the next, 
where I wouldn't fall back. But I haven't really progressed like that since last October. And so I'm not really coming out of that phase. And I don't know if I ever will. And that is, of course, something that also comes with being self-employed, that you have this uncertainty that I never know how big my paycheck is going to be um, if I do have a stable income for the next year. And that is something that kind of adds some mental load. But I think it's just the price to pay for this luxurious job where I can do whatever I want and make my own schedule, of course, meaning that I still work, I guess, at least 30 hours a week and think uh, about my channel the rest of the time I am awake. Um, yes. Also, let me know if you have ever thought about starting a YouTube channel or if you are self-employed or if you work for another company. I am not for the glorification of being self-employed, being your own boss, because really everything comes with pros and cons. If you want to support me and this journey and this channel, you can always become a member or just watch all my videos, watch the ads, like the videos, comment the videos. I think you know the drill or even recommend this channel to other people you think might like it. I wanted to make this video just to just give you it, some insight into how I feel and how it is being self-employed with a YouTube channel. Since I usually make minimalism content on this channel, I do want to say something about minimalism here. I do think that it would not be possible to have this as my job if I was not a minimalist. It only works with the amount of money I make because I am very intentional when it comes to spending and I have a good overview over my finances. Right now, I'm pretty sure I'm not really above minimum wage. And of course, that depends on the country. But this is not poverty because this is intentional and I have a choice. And I'm willing to do this and I'm also willing to be very intentional with my spending and with my money and with everything else for another few years. But of course, I hope that at some point my business might be a bit more successful still. But we'll see how that yeah, will go. And please also let me know if you have any questions and if I should make more videos about this topic and if I should, which kind of videos you'd like to see. And now I think we are at the end of this video. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up because as I just said before, that really helps my channel because it gives the video a boost in the algorithm. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos, I'm going to link you a video here and a playlist here that you can watch if you're interested and if you have time right now. And I do also hope to see you next time. Bye.